Hello, welcome to the Daily Forex Report for October 7th. We are looking at the US Euro USD. Let me show you what I'm looking for as far as the trade goes during this next session. It's called a Windows trade. We have uh, the low here that was created on Friday right here at uh, 129.91. We closed above that, obviously. Gap down just a little bit, not retraced it quite yet, moving to the downside. I'm looking for a short, basically, off of the 129.91 mark, then looking to exit that for a very quick profit at 129.67. So not quite uh, 20 pips there. Let's actually take a look at what this is. It's about 25, actually. Uh, 24, 25 pips uh, for this. Typically, if it goes through one area very, very quickly, and we can see multiple times it's done that, went through a quick here, here and here uh, at that point it should go through that same area very very quickly we don't have any zero zero lines the only thing we have is a 75 line uh, but uh, that's kind of right here in the middle and it's not as significant as our zero zeros and our 50s so that is what i'm looking for during this next session so let's talk about news announcements there are no significant news announcements as we go into this next session uh, not at least until tuesday now, the U.S.-Japanese yen pair closed up on Friday. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 79.10, possibly as low as 77.99. Look for some resistance around 78.85, and look for some support around 78.25. Now, the Euro-USD pair, this pair closed up on Friday. Uh, we are looking for it to run through that area, potentially hitting some support around one 29.55, possibly to the upside hitting some resistance around 130.75. Now the pound US dollar pair, this pair closed lower on Friday. We are looking for it to uh, potentially go as high as 162.68 on a reversal, possibly as low as 160.37. Look for some resistance around 162.15 uh, and look for some support around 160.65. Now the U.S. Swiss, this pair closed lower on Friday. We are looking for it to potentially go up and hit some resistance around 0.9331, possibly moving down and hitting some support around 0.9272. Well, that pretty much wraps us up for today. Make sure to keep an eye and look for that Euro uh, quick little 20 to 25 pip scalp that we have going for this next session. And until next time, this is Jason Filder. Good trading.